So good afternoon, everyone. Today, uh, we're going to have another special online course. So uh, in the topic, the AI and semantics computing with 5D world map system uh, provided by Professor Jushiki. Professor Jushiki, are you still here with me? Hello. Hello, OK. Hi. Nice Hi, nice to meet you too. So welcome all participants right now because right now our special course will be class to YouTube Live and Facebook Live too. And including our Zoom meeting right now, we have like um, so many people right now with us. So I think it's, it's good time for us to start a special lecture and practice. So Professor, could you please try to scare your, uh, share your screen right now? All right, sure. Okay, so before we start, let me introduce Professor to everyone first. So Professor Yashuki Kiyoki, uh, he's the Dean of the Faculty of Data Science, Musashino University, and the Program Coordinator of the Doctoral Program, Global Environmental System Leaders in Kyoto University. And Professor Yashuki received PhD degrees in Electrical Engineering from Kyoto University in 1983. And since 1996, uh, Professor has been with the Graduate School of Media and Governance, where he is currently a professor. So his research address multi-database system, knowledge-based system, semantic associate processing, and multimedia database system. And he, was, he served as the editor-in-chief on information modeling and knowledge-based iOS press. And now he's a program coordinator of the doctoral program Global Environmental System Leaders in Kyoto University, Japan. Okay, so Professor, please start your special course right now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can you, can you see my slide? Yes. Okay. So, hello everyone. Good afternoon, Sadika. So my name is Yasushi Kiyoki. And my major research area is uh, semantic computing, including AI and dimensional processing. And today's uh, title of the, this lecture is uh, AI, Artificial Intelligence and Semantic Computing with a uh, five-dimensional world map system. And currently we are applying this system to the environmental AI for global knowledge sharing, integration, analysis, and visualization. And not only environmental, but also social aspects are important focusing point of this study. Can you see my screen now? Changing? No problem. Are you share my new, new page? Yes. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Okay. How about your materials? Can we share to the Zoom right now? Okay, I, I have already sent you. The okay. Screen. Okay. So I can send to the all oh, the participant right now, right? Uh, Recording sure. in progress. Okay. So now I share all the learning materials that we use today in the meeting chat right now in the Zoom. And so you can uh Take a look and then follow Professor. Professor, you still here with me? So it seems like a professor. Professor, you still here with us? Tasni, can you help to communicate with the professor? So right now, I just post the learning materials in the meeting chat right now. So I think everyone can download and take a look from that chat, okay? So while we're waiting for the professor, so 
could you please take a look from the net note first, and then once he come back, so we can uh, start our session again.
ハロー。ハロー。あ、yes, we can hear you now, professor.、Uh, okay, sorry, no, what happened? <laughs> I was talking already. <laughs> okay. Okay, can, can I share my screen? Yes, you can share your screen right now. Okay. Now I cannot access. Can access. Could you please keep? Okay. Okay, coming. Sure. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, we can see your screen right now. Okay, so how nice. Let's start again. Okay. Sorry. All right. Can you see? Yes, we can. Okay. So, hi. Good afternoon. Sorry <laughs> to make a trouble. And Currently, can you see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen, but we cannot see your camera. <laughs> okay, okay, my camera. Sure, sure. It's okay. Yeah, everything's okay now. Oh, sorry. Hi. Okay, let's start again. All right.、Uh, we have two big spaces in the current world. All right. And so, first one is the physical, and next one is the cyber. And how to make a good integration between cyber and physical? This is a key point to make a new system. All right. This is commonly you recognized in the world. And can you see my screen about the SPA? All right. Okay. Next important terminology today I'd like to share with you this is the SPA. It's Is sensing and P is processing and A is analysis and actuation. So, three players must be designed in the new systems. All right. And this is an example of the SPA architecture. Can you see my slide? All right. So, for example, this is a case of the mud flow, the disaster of the flooding in Surabaya, Indonesia. So, this, so this gas is a fast. First message, first、uh, trigger of the, this disaster, like a first signal, all right? First signal must be catched up by eyes, like a human, human action. And if we can catch up the, this start, starting message from the nature, we can make the deep analysis, the meaning of the distress. So, big disaster will be coming. All、right, and this is a recognition process correspond to P. P is correspond to human brain. All right,、uh, human brain is responsible to make a message to the resident. All right, and this is a actuation and ev evacuation, must, evacuation must be informed to the resident around. The area of the disaster. Okay, can you see? All right, and so what's a good S? What's a good P? What's a good A? This is a today's discussion. And we have many kinds of the sensing devices. For example, drone and spectral camera, or many sensing devices are available in the world. And what's a important sensing? This is a fast design. And then after sensing data, Can be mapped onto the brain, brain like a human brain. So we provide the processing system to make an integration of the sensing data and deep analysis can be applied in this processing element. And then finally, we can send the message or alerting, warning, or some knowledge to the society. This is a final actuator. And Another case of the, for example, our experience in the case of the water quality analysis. So many sensors related to the water quality and environmental issues, those are available currently, and those data can be mapped onto the processing device. 
and processing is responsible to make a deep analysis. What's the meaning of the real world situation phenomenon? And then finally, alerting or some message or knowledge will be pro propagated to the real world. All right? Can you see? Okay. And so this is our current collaborative research project with a five dimensional world map system. We have many collaborators. Let's discuss about uh, this collaboration later. I'd like to share this kind of activity with you, P PSU from now, and many collaborators from Asian, European, or US, and we can make the integration of the S and so P, KO 5D world map system is playing the important role as a P. And final actuator, actuation process is also important. And current AI, I think you are highly interested in the artificial intelligence because your subject, your main major field is a computer science I had. And I'm coming also from computer science and AI is supporting the matrix. Current important data structure is a matrix and machine learning, deep learning, uh, utilizing the matrix. And then also today I'd like to introduce, introduce semantic computing. This system is also supporting matrix. Matrix is essentially important in the current artificial intelligence or database field. And I'd like to discuss about the semantic computing. So we have proposed the mathematical model of meaning long time ago, 1993. And this system dealing with um, how to deal with the uh, meanings. That means semantics and kansei. And kansei is a Japanese keyword, like a feeling, impression, emotion, and human senses, sensitivity, psychological reaction, or physiological reaction. Those, how to deal with them? This is a question. And our MMM, this is a new model. This was the new model to deal with the meanings. For example, so we have the green. Green is a very common word, and green has many meanings. Maybe green has infinite meanings. And when you hear the green in the traffic, in the cross, traffic situation, like a road, street, walk, drive. So green means go or feel fresh. What do you think? In the traffic and you hear the keyword green, you recognize this, is, uh, this means go, all right? So how to deal with that? And in the forest, in the nature, if you listen to the keyword green, we understand green means fresh. All right, so how to make this kind of calculation? So our idea is like this. For example, in the traffic context, X and Y, this is a three dimensions and X and Y axis are selected. And then this space is manipulated. And then if the another context is coming, Green is near to fresh. So this is my point of the, this study. For example, like this, in the context of the traffic, every data is mapped onto the X and Y. Z is not selected. And this is cor corresponding to the traffic context. And in this context, green is very close to go, all right? Natta Pong Sensei, this is the, our idea. And so in the traffic context, fresh, fresh is not related to this context. This is coming to the origin, no relation. That's why green is close to go. So in this, in, like a human brain, when you listen to the keyword green in the traffic, you understand green means go. Okay, but if you are in the forest, all right, you are in the forest in nature, 
and you listen to the keyword green, how to manipulate? In this case, in the forest, we select Y and Z. And we select, we make mapping to the two dimension Y and Z. In this space, this is correspond to forest. Green means fresh rather than gold. Okay, this is uh, our idea of the basic idea. This is a semantic computing. Sometimes green means gold. Sometimes green means fresh, but they are totally dependent on the context. And so meaning must be fixed with, with the context. Context is essentially important. How to select the subspace? This is a question. So this is highly related to the machine learning. Machine learning is uh, one of the technologies to make a subspace selection by using the big data. But uh, in the semantic computing, we can make the subspace selection very quickly. For example, you in the world of the music, you'd like to listen to the music with the sadness and silence, all right? Sadness and silence, this is your request about the music, all right? Sad, sadness, sad, and silent are locating here in your brain. And music is existing here, all right? And sad and silent, we can select. We can make the context vector, all right? And then which dimension, which axis is highly related to this context? This is an important point. And we select this case, this subspace, and music data is mapped onto this, and we cal calculate the distance and we recognize, we can find out the corresponding music to your context. And this is a typical example of the gather Eshaba. Two objects are existing, same objects, but uh, different meanings. Three meanings are included in object, in this object. And if you look at them from the top, they have the same meanings same meaning, but from the left, they, they are different, and from the right, they are different. This is a dynamics of the meanings, all right? This is a human brain function, important function to recognize the context and interpret the meanings. And this is a summary of the MMM. So we have the big space like this. How many dimensions we have? This is an important discussion. And sometimes context is coming. Firstly, we select the subspace and then mapping to this subspace from big data. And we can apply the clustering, machine learning, or distance calculation. Many calculation in computer science can be applied to the subspace. And in the another context, in another context, we can select another subspace and we can apply just many computational modules. And I'd like to introduce how to make a matrix. This is an important point. So firstly, we have the space, multidimensional space in our brain. This is our assumption. And then many important data can be memorized onto this space. And another important keywords, language, language data can be also mapped onto this space. How many dimensions we have? This is my question, all right? Like this, like this. And so this is a one of the typical examples, how to make a multidimensional space. So this is an English English dictionary named Longman. Have you, have you studied Longman contemporary English? This is an English English dictionary. Right. And this dictionary is very, very important. So only 2,150 words are used to explain all the vocabulary, all the English word. This dictionary includes 60,000 English words, but only 2,000 words are used. That means if you make the horizontal line with the 2,115 watts, okay. This is a, a matrix and column. 
And this is a small. Small can be defined like this, not great in size, degree, et cetera. And so in, from, according to the Longman's definition, small can be defined as a vector like this. So degree, positive, great, negative, but zero is important. Zero, zero means no relation is, is existing between beautiful and small. This is a definition from the long man, all right? This means the long man world can be defined as a 2,150 dimensional space. This is my proposal, okay? 2,115 dimensional space is, space is defined by long man. And also vivid quiet can be mapped onto this space, same dimensional space and quiet like this. And also beautiful can be expressed in the matrix. And if you can, if you can express the language data in matrix, we can apply many computational methodologies to this data. Because not only language data, but also numerical data. Mathematical numerical data can be manipulated by using the computer methodologies. And another case, this is not the language. This is a world of the colors. We are very familiar, RGB, three dimensions, okay. HSV, uh, Mansell, c -Rabo. Those are very important color system. Basically, color is expressed in three dimensional, all right? Do you agree? Okay. But so in the world of the semantics, we have many research results related to colors. For example, this research result by Mr. Kobayashi, this is a great result, and he defined. So one, 100, 130 colors to make a impression of the some, some pictures or paints. For example, like this, warm can be defined with a red or yellow like this. No relation to the blue like this. This is a warm, definition of the tone, warm, bright, golden, sunshiny. This is the world of the colors with 130 dimensions. All right. Okay. And this is another case. So this is so our research project of the water quality. Water quality analysis, we, we know the important parameter is a pH, oxygen, conductivity, salinity, turbidity. Those are important the parameters in the world of the water, water quality. All right. And also we have the geographical dimension, three dimension geography. And another dimension is the time. All right. Place and time is uh, very important. But in addition to those physical dimensions, water quality has uh, their, its own parameters. So totally 12 parameters are important in water quality. All right. That means 12 dimensional space is uh, important for water quality analysis. All right. So if you have questions, please feel free to interrupt me anytime. And so this is our idea. So what's the space? How many dimensional space we have in our brain? And next, semantic computing is very important to make a good selection of the subspace. What's your context? And finally, so data, existing data, memorized data can be mapped onto this subspace and we can make a deep analysis by using the data mining, clustering, or some classifier with a machine learning. Those can be applied to the subspace. And this is an expansion of the, this model of the MMM model can be expanded to the world of the 5D. And 5D world map system is based on the MMM. 
and this is our members of, related to this project. And we have the collaboration with the United Nations, SCAP. So headquarters is locate, locating in Bangkok. And sometimes we visit the SCAP. And what's a 5D? This is a discussion, all right? 5D world map system towards global environmental knowledge creation, memorization, integration, like AI. What's an environmental AI? Maybe today we'd like to discuss later about the, what's a social AI. So you are making good project in campus. So, so social AI and environmental AI. So by using the dimensional space, how many dimensions are existing in your campus? This is my question. How many dimensions are existing in the nature? This is the next question, all right. And 5D, four dimensions for physical, spatial. This is a commonly X, Y, Z, or longitude, latitude, and height. This is a spatial, longitude, latitude, and height, all right. And another important dimension is the time, temporal axis. This is a highly important in physics. And then last dimension is correspond to our brain. How many dimensions are existing in our brain? For example, as I told, the 2000 for English words, general English, English words, we, Longman says 2000 dimensions are important, all right? And in the world of the colors, 130 dimensions are important. All right, and the water quality case, 12, 12 parameters that correspond to 12 dimensions are important. So this is a domain oriented. So how many dimensions are important, essential? This is, this must be designed according to the domain. And my question to your approach, how many dimensions must be defined in campus, campus life, okay? And the 5D world map system is currently available from the SDGs help desk in SCAP UN 5D. And this is available, all right? And as I told, the sensing, processing, and actuation, how to realize this world. So in the central 5D, we have the multi-dimensional space here. And Many sensors or some actuators can be integrated like this. Okay, and this is a case of the plastic garbage. For example, sometimes we can make a memory recall. How to make a memorization and how to make a memory re recall in our brain. So this is my question. And for example, this is a plastic garbage. This is very important pro issue existing in the world. Plastic garbage make gape. Big damage to the livings. And so how to make a plastic garbage reduction in the ocean or river. So what's a good S? What's a good P? What's a good A? This is a point. And for example, water, parameter, water quality sensors, those can be utilized to check up check the water quality, and what's a good semantic space? How many dimensional space must be, in, must be designed? And what's a good actuator to make a good propagation to the society? So this is a process of the system design. I really you know, share, would like to share this concept with all of you. What's, a, what's good, good S? What's a good P? What's a good A? All right. And this is a case of the damage in the society, how to make a reduction of the plastic and big damage is coming. And 5D world map system, this is overview of the 5D. For example, in the, this situation, for example, this situation, we know the place and we know the time, all right? Three dimension, that's, that's a place, all right? And fourth dimension, this is a time. We can make a memory memorization very easily. Do you agree? Or, okay. 
And also, in addition to the place and time, we can memorize the atmosphere or situation or phenomena, phenomenon inside of our brain. That means the colors or atmosphere or feeling or something and meanings. Meanings can be memorized. This is a fifth dimension. For example, this is a dimensional space for text, and this is a dimensional, dimensional space for image. Okay, from coming from eyes and coming from the knowledge. Those are also memorized all at once with a physical dimension and semantic dimensions. And this is our overview of the 5D. So sometimes we are interested in history, temporal, timeline. Sometimes we are interested in geographical relation. And so our current system supports a multi-dimensional world with the multiple world map with the geography. And for example, this is a case of the first fire. So first fire can be recognized from by eyes, all right? So this is a phenomenon occurring in the nature. That's why fire, firing can be recognized by eyes. So what's a good eyes in this system? This is my point. And eyes hearts the input from the nature, and then we can make apply the color system, 130 dimensional color system, and we can find out the highly related images with the same kind of colors. And then finally, what's a good mapping? So this is a geography, all right? So color dimensions are input and output might be geography. This is a di dimensional control, okay? So sometimes input might be colors. Sometimes input might be output, might be geography, okay? So this is a dynamic dimensional control we have. Our human brain is very, very intelligent to make a dynamic dimensional control. Sometimes you are focusing on this place and you'd like to make a memory recall about the history. The same place, but you are interested in history, all right? So in this case, important input is a image, but important output might be the history, time. Fourth dimension is important. Do you agree? Okay, so human brain has a very big dynamics to make a dimensional control. Sometimes input might be colors, sometimes input might be some text or keywords, but the output uh, might be very, very dynamic. And this is a case of the uh, Deng, Deng fever, so collaboration with the Surabaya Indonesia and what, the, what this is a dengue fever spreading in the cities. And we have three places related to the dengue, dengue fever, fever phenomena and the Indonesia, Malaysia, and Thailand. We integrated the Bangkok, Kuala Lumpur, and Surabaya about the spreading of the dengue fever. These information resources are differently existing in local area, but how to make a good integration? Uh, this is uh, our trial. And finally mapping to the place of the dengue fever. Green, red area already dengue fever was existing and green area, this, this is a dangerous area related to dengue fever. Okay. And this is a integration with a earthquake sensing with a 5D. This is a case of the earthquake and earthquake sensing devices can be connected to 5D. And those are visualized like this. And this is a case of the SDGs. We, are, have, we have the collaboration with the UN about the 14 and nine and 11. And about uh, water quality or some plastic garbage issues related to the SDGs 14th 
five D is applied like this. This is overview of the SDGs fourteen. So many data are existing in South in our Asian area, and this is a plastic keyword retrieval. Keyword can be input, and we can find out the related images. And the final output is the geography. And this is a case of the uh, image input. So another dimension is coming. And in this input, and we can find out the related coral damage, coral reef, and final geographical output can be realized like this. And this is another, another color of the coral. And in addition to the images, we can also express another dimensional space. This is the water quality parameters. So as I told, important 12 water quality parameters can be expressed. And those are mapped related to the place. All right. pH and oxygen and turbidity, those important water quality parameters are expressed by using this. This is a dimensional, dimensional control. All right. So everything is a dimensional control. This is my proposal, all right, today. And this is a case of the Chao Praia, your, your country, Chao Praia River, has <laughs> sometimes difficulty. So I have a student from, from your country and she focused on the Chao Praia water quality analysis. That's a very impressive research result to make a diamond, how to deal with the dimensions in the case of the Chao Praia. This is an interesting result. And this is a, another case by using the drone. Drone is a very excellent function because drone can, can make flying like this. And along the drone's mobility, we can catch up the sensing, new sensing with the mobility like this. Sometimes we can go approach, going to approach to the place which we cannot access. For example, in the case of the plastic garbage in the island, all right? Other side of the island, we cannot access directly by human, human walking. In this case, drone can be catch up the situation about the backside of the island, sometimes like this. And this is a summary of the 5D, so let's, but uh, I have the, another discussion. And this is a case of the AI. How to, uh, how to combine the machine learning? Maybe I, I think you are highly interested in machine learning or deep learning currently. Okay, this is an image retrieval. For example, this is our, our experimental study about the garbage of the plastic. Plastic garbage images are collected, okay. And this is a non-plastic, non-plastic images. Okay, this is a very simple machine learning. So two set are collected, and this is a plastic garbage images, and this is a non-plastic. And by applying the machine learning, deep learning process. Okay, and this is a very common common technology, and new input is coming after after learning. So we can distinguish this is a plastic or not, all right? This is an essential function of the machine learning. And if the, this image includes a plastic, we recognize this is a plastic image and automatic mapping to the 5D. So this is an automatic way, sensing and processing and actuation, okay. Not only processing, machine learning itself, it's not so effective in my, in my sense. So P, sensing is this, like a human eyes, and P is a machine learning in, the, in this case, but final actuation is highly important. All right, automatic mapping. And this is a total overview of the, this system combined, 5D combined with AI. And this program can be applied to 5D. And finally, we can share the geographical 
mapping by using this system like this. And this is an automatic recognition of the plastic garbage place in Surabaya. And not only the uh, mapping to the geography, that's not enough. Plastic garbage cannot be, cannot be reduced. All right, do you agree? That's an important point. So final, really important actuator is a final garbage collection. Do you agree? That's uh, my point. So not only information cyber analysis, that's not totally enough. We need to make an actual reduction of the plastic garbage. In this case, we have to develop some important mobility or some devices like uh, in the ocean case or the river case in Chao Praia like this. We need many, many act activities like this. This is a SAP with a garbage collection. And this is a design by Dr. Bilaf and Patani. Patani Sensei, some Sensei. <laughs> they de de defined, designed this kind of the drone to approach to the back, back side of the island. That's a nice idea. And so this is a garbage box with a calculator of the weight of the garbage. Okay, next. Okay, this is uh, my uh, important introduction about the dimensional world. So if you interested in the dimensional world to make good dealing with the art, new artificial intelligence with SPA, let's make a collaboration together. Okay. And next, very uh, important project with a railway company. Tokyo JR, JR, you know, Japan Railway. This is uh, one of the biggest companies, companies in Japan. And JR East, we have the long time collaboration, joint work, and they have many important data, passenger data, train timetable, trip scheduling, advertisement, many information resources are existing in JR. But those Important information resources are not integrated well, independent. So our project focus on how to make a good integration about the knowledge in existing in JR. And every day, 6.7 million passengers. That's a big, biggest area in Tokyo. Okay, and this is our view. So we have the many data resources, mainly four data resources, and how to make an analysis in the JR. And this is the Japanese metropolitan area. We have 400 stations. There are 400 stations in Tokyo area. That's a total statistics. And railway big database, 400 stations, destinations and this is a uh, data from in in 2008 and 6 million data items this is a uh, 6 million passengers activity uh, summarized and this is a uh, per data amount per day and we apply postgres so you are familiar in postgres i think and then to six million tuples, that's a big one. And total pass, this is a combination of the 400 stations, 400 times 400. So, and every train controlled in the unit of the minute. That's why one minute is important. Starting from four o'clock to the midnight, 25 o'clock. This is a world of the JR, okay? And they support 300, 844 trains. Average number of the change three times, of the two times or three, two, three times for passengers. And this is a, a, a analysis from Shinjuku to other stations. In the morning time, in the morning time, how many people are moving to other station from Shinjuku? 
this is a very simple analysis. And how many people are coming to Shinjuku from other stations? This is the commonly integrated. But uh, this is an important analysis. So this, so you focus on, uh, we can focus on a single train. Single train is now focused on, and then how many people are, how, how many people are in this train? This is the question. So by using this analysis, 50% coming from West, 25 from East, and then 60% from straight from the north. This is a new analysis, and we can apply. We can make provision of the digital signage. Or I don't, yes, digital signage provision or some actuation can be done. And this is a new service in the when the people are uh, using this railway. And another approach, this is a project of the Tokyo Cyber Station. This is highly related to your project. How to make a talk, um, PSU cyber, cyber Campus, I think. <laughs> so this is maybe good naming. So you have the real physical campus, but uh, what's a good cyber campus? This is a question. So I propose to JR people, JR headquarters. So JR has the great physical station in Tokyo, but uh, JR, JR does not have the Cyber Tokyo Station. All right. So my proposal about the new vision, what's a good direction for the JR company? So you have, it's a good direction to make the new station instead of the physical. So what's a good Tokyo Station? So in the physical service, totally four-dimensional space, totally their service, JR service focusing on four dimensions, all right? Place and time, you agree? But they, they don't have the new services. So another dimension, fifth dimension is important in JR. I proposed to JR people. What's the fifth dimension? This is a question. And so sometimes, so this, can say like a sorry in Japanese, but this is a, some fashionable or some silent or some calm, peaceful or some noisy or some relaxation like this. Those can be selected. So if you want to spend time one hour in Tokyo Station, all right, you you have the enough time to to have the next, next train. So you can select how to spend your time in Tokyo Station for one, one hour. You can select. So you want to stay, select, spend time in the silent place or relax, relax, relaxation. Or sometimes you'd like to make an exercise like this. So you can choose. And then this is a result of the service, JR service. So you are here. Now, this is a location of the, your place and recommendation is given like this. Your place and the closest place with the relaxation. This is the answer. So maybe highly related to your campus, I think, your campus project. So some, some person is locating here. And so their request is input. And so you can calculate what's a good service to the to the person. Okay. And migration is important in JR world. And so mobility or migration, the human journey. From the starting the human journey, we have the many mobility currently, the big progress. Like, a, like we can say that's an evolution from the um, mobility. Mobility world had made the great progress in our big history. 
Okay, what's a new transportation in the next? Like this, for example, uh, in new new activity in JR, JR. So bicycle or walking or automobile. Those can be integrated, not only the train, but also other vehicles must be supported by, by new service. This is called the mass, mobility as a service. Do, have you heard this keyword coming from Finland originally? And so we can make a recommendation to the passenger, what's a good way to move from A to B. So around the Tokyo station, we have the project to move to another place with a relaxation or exercise or sometimes uh, some hurrying. And this is a summary and what this is a final discussion today with you. So as we discussed, we share today, nature cannot interpret the meaning of the situation phenomena by itself, all right? Nature is uh, important, but uh, nature cannot interpret the meaning. And in our human history, innovative technology and system have focused on human society, mainly how to make a good life. This is the most important direction of the innovative technology, but uh, not only, not for nature. So we have to include the nature to our system, system design. This is my proposal today. And the human can interpret the meaning. Only human can understand what is the damage to the nature, what's the damage to the society. Okay. So interpretation is complicated, but currently only human brain can make interpretation. But we have the automatic system how to give the meaning to environmental or social phenomena. So maybe in your case, campus, camp, new campus life, maybe social phenomena. This phenomena will be supported by your system. What's a good meaning? What's a good method, methodology to make a progress? And as I told, how, Sensing, processing, and actuation must be designed very, very deeply and well. And so first question to make a sharing with you today. First question is, uh, uh, this is a class lecture, I think. That's why uh, Dr. Nat Natapong. So this today is a class. <laughs> so this is my question to all the, all the participants. How to interpret the meaning of the crucial environmental phenomena in nature, all right? And how to, so automatic interpretation, this is a question. Image processing or sensor, sensor analysis, sensing data analysis, those can be utilized to interpret the meanings, but it's not so easy to interpret the meanings about the damage to the nature. Plastic garbage, human understand but system cannot understand yet. Okay, and how to realize actual progress with a collaborative action, contributive action and systems. And so next question is that uh, today I'd like to discuss about the new, new concept of the money. So you are dealing with the campus coin, campus, Mm, I, I remember, so very interesting, but- uh, PSQ coin, PSQ <laughs> coin. Ah, yes, that's a nice idea, I like. And so my point today to make a good sharing, environmental contribution degree might be uh, one, one of the new axis. New axis means uh, new, not only money. Money is a great axis to make a major, good measuring about the uh, evaluation of the different object, different activity, we can apply money. Money can, ex can express the value of the, our activity or object. But uh, environmental contribution degree or campus coin, campus system, what's a good way to make a new degree in the campus life? This is a new, as a new axis. 
this is the point today. And how to realize new incentive or environmental contribution, or in your case, how to realize new incentive for campus life? This is a second question. What's a good incentive to be made by using your system? This is my question. And environmental contribution degrees of my proposal to United Nations. Okay, not only money. Money is uh, very commonly effective, but uh, we don't have the concept of the new access. Okay, environmental and social access to make, to propagate individual contribution to the world. This is a possibility of the new actuator. So you are concept of the campus coin. So how to propagate? the personal contribution to the world, to the campus, to, to the university. For example, each student has an incentive to make a good contribution to the campus. Their, their contribution values can be shared with all the university members. This is a good incentive, I think. And Next is an open question. What's uh, our future image of the dynamic progress in 2030? So let's discuss. And what's the impact of the technologies to our society, natural environment, and human life? So, and what, what are the relations of the data science, cross-cultural communication, or in the context of the society and nature? Okay. Almost, okay, I, I have the last subject with a collaboration with a Thai, your country. And this is a project of the coral, coral, all right, coral image. And coral has a health level. Health level, this is a highly healthy or sometimes big damaged. And like this, this is a, experimental study in the marine department in Chura. So Ko Chan, we had a project in Ko Chan in the marine. And this is my idea. This is the color of the coral, okay? Coral. And this is a coral chart. Coral chart is indicating the health level of the coral, all right? And so we can check this color is correspond to this. So this is very healthy, like this. But in the case of the white one, this is a big damaged case in the coral. So this is a comparison between coral itself and coral chart. But the um, idea, is, idea is like this. So automatic interpretation of the coral health. For example, coral must be placed at the center of the image, take, take photo with the coral at the center. And also we take photo of the coral chart, coral chart all together. Like this, coral chart included in the image. This is uh, my idea. So we can make comparison, the comparison of the colors di directly and like this. And we recognize the coral chart place like this, and we can pick up the pixel of the each color. And then we can compare the pixel of the colors and pixel of the coral. And we can automatically pick up. So this is a knowledge base. Knowledge is included in the image. And this is a original coral. Original coral and knowledge, those can be taken in photo all together. This is a good way. So that, that means uh, brain is inside of the image, all right? And this is a comparison between coral, coral and uh, coral chat. In this case, this coral has a color E2. E2 is a very highly related to this coral. That means uh, E2, that means a uh, big damaged coral. E2, this case. And this is a comparison of the semantic computing. 
Okay, finally, I'd like to introduce my our consortium, AI and 5D. We started consortium with uh, my international collaborators, European and Asian collaborators, Tamasat, and so let's share this kind of the activities with uh, PSU from today. So this is the point. So we have the original new research activity of the design and implementation experimental study. This is commonly realized in the university, but uh, we include the new aspect of the deployment. Deployment means uh, how to utilize our system in society. So we connect, connect this summer school to the United Nations for some utilizations. And okay, this is our first AI 5D workshop in Tokyo last year, February, one year, uh, one year ago. And this is a first summer school in Hamburg. And then Biraf says, Dr. Biraf. So today he's now coming and Dr. Biraf and our research members and collaborators. And this is a, a second workshop with uh, Indonesia. So Ali Lido, he, he's, he was my PhD student 2006. And then this is a collaborator from Thailand, Indonesia and European co collaborators community. This is a Tamasat workshop we had in November. Thank you for coming. Natapon Sensei, he, you gave a nice talk in this opportunity. Thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> and this is a scheduling. So this year, we will have the new workshop in Musashino campus in Tokyo and Germany. And let's have the new summer school in Thailand, in Phuket, I hope. So this is a campus of the Musashino, new campus in, in Tokyo area, Tokyo Bay. Very nice place, please come after pandemic. And this is uh, our schedule in Europe, Europe side. And special appreciation and for new research collaboration with uh, Dr. Nat Pang. Thank you for arranging today's opportunity. Thank you very much. Arigato. Kopunka. Kopunka, thank you so much, Sensei. Hi. Hi. And uh, why we still have time, so if the participants uh, have any question, you can press the raise the hand button here in, my, uh, in Zoom application, or you can post your question, comments in the Zoom chat right now. And then uh, some of my questions that I got from the president to the Facebook Live and YouTube Live. For example, they say that uh, refer to your 5D world map, right? And one dimension that you're talking about is about semantic dimension. Mm. Am I correct? So for the semantic dimension, how uh, could you please suggest how to deal with uh, different concepts from different cultures to be one? Okay, that's a, uh, how to deal with a different concept, you mean? Different concept from maybe like, a, for example, green and gold in Thailand, green and maybe ah, something in the Malaysia. So different country, different cultures, maybe different I perspectives. See. That's, a, that's a good question. Just a moment. I have the... Just a moment.
ok can can i share a new slide okay this is a good, good question okay can I, can I see my slide okay this is a matrix for japanese japanese culture about uh, interpretation okay but uh, sometimes thai people have a different feeling okay and this is a word of the kansei and we fix almost 13 impression words focus only this is a closed domain and this is an impression written by finland and this is a cross cultural semantic computing project with uh, Dr. Bira. Okay, this is a color, color matrix for Japanese people. Okay, this is a color matrix for Thailand. And same same colors, 130 colors are utilized, but the definition definition is different. Okay. Bright is different and darkness also different. And this is a overview of the multi cross culture interpretation. So this is an image and this is a matrix for Japanese. And this is a whole, sorry, next. This is a Japanese matrix. Okay. Same, same space, same 130 dimensional space is shared. But uh, definition, concept definition is totally different. This is an interpretation by Thai. This is an interpretation by Japan. This is an in interpretation by other country like this. And result, interpreted result can be expressed in a different way. This is a point. So what's the definition of the interpretation can be this is totally dependent on the culture. And the personal matrix can be also defined. All right. Natapon Sensei's matrix, Kiyoki matrix, Tatsani matrix can be defined. Okay, this is a point. Good question, and like this, Thai, Thai image, Japanese image, and we ma made the museum with uh, Thai culture and Japanese culture. This is a project with uh, Dr. Tatsani and Dr. Bira. Okay, thank you. Nice question. Um, thank you so much. Next mm. question. Yes. That's right now because uh, we are facing with the COVID-19 situation, mm. right? Mm. And then we have like a different kind of vaccination. For mm. example, right now I got four for vaccination last last week and then how can we uh deploy the covid 19 pandemic and the vaccination for the people in your mm. 5g world map mm. so this is a big question then uh, about uh uh the disease transmitted disease transmitted disease how to make a good uh treatment about the uh, vaccine and then some action, action of the people. So how to make a good present actuation. This is an important point. What's a good actuation? So we have the uh, data analysis about uh, COVID, but uh, not, not so concrete yet, but uh, let's share, I see about the case of the COVID. Just a moment. That's a big question, not only by myself. So please discuss how to approach in Thailand. I'd like to know. 
uh, this one. Just a moment. Can you just see? Sorry, I sorry, I don't have the uh, slide now. But uh, in the five D case, okay, I I show the button. Sorry. Okay, I found. Maybe we have many approaches, but uh, you know, what's a good good analysis? We don't have the good answer, but our activity about the COVID. Can you see my slide? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And so this is a, a two, two dimension. This is a timeline, and this is a ratio of the ratio of the uh, transmitted. And this is a case of the delta uh, alpha, and this is a case of the delta. How to make a uh, exchanging between alpha and delta, and delta and omicron? So two players not say two phenomena are existing and how to make uh, exchanging, how, how long does it take to make uh, exchanging? This is a analysis in the timeline and we provide the time calculation system like this. So this is a three case of the, this is a case of the alpha, this is a delta and this is a Omicron like this. And how to map to the 5D? like this. So this is a timeline. And this is the case of the Europa, Europe. And this is a number ID of the virus. Okay. And virus is ch ex changing, shifting to another, another space like this. This is a timeline and uh, geography. We have the, this kind of the research result, but we don't have deep result yet. Sorry, so much <laughs> about the COVID. We don't have the big experience yet. But the 5D can be utilized like this. Each country uh, propagate the total statistics every day. So we can reflect those statics, statistics in about the alpha, delta, and omicron. This is a 5D's possible, possible action. Sorry, not so sharp about COVID yet. Okay. Thank you so much. Another one. That's uh, because it seems like uh, the input data come from several sources. So it means that we need to provide like a big data structure for those input data, right? Mm. Yes, so this is an important discussion. So we need the big data or not. This is a point. Okay. So we, as we discussed today, can you see our slide? So machine learning is based on the big data, right? Okay. Sometimes, but uh, semantic computing does not need big data to make an interpretation. Okay, all right. For example, as I introduced today, this is a case of the definition of the small. 
All right. Small can be defined like this. We don't need to make a machine learning with a big data. Small can be defined like this. We can, we can calculate, for example, vivid, quiet, and beautiful are uh, defined like this. And if sometimes new word is coming, for example, tiny, tiny is coming. Tiny, tiny is very similar to small, all right? Okay, so tiny can be, can be expressed in vector, same. And we can calculate the distance between small and tiny, and tiny to be a bit quiet, tiny to beautiful. And we can obtain the result with the small, it's the closest to the tiny. Okay, this is the world of the semantic computing. If we have the definition like a long man, we don't need to make a big learning to recognize to recognize the meaning of the small. Small is already given. But in the case of the plastic garbage, as you as I have introduced, like this. If it's if it's difficult to def define the plastic garbage, we have to apply the big data. So what's a plastic? What's a, what's a non-plastic? This is not easy to define. All right, do you agree? Okay, so if we can give the definition like a long man, no need to have big data because we know the definition. But uh, if we don't have the definition, we have to utilize the big data to make a machine learning like this. And then first, and new, new data is coming. New data is coming. We recognize this is a plastic. Okay. But in the case of the small and tiny and beautiful, if tiny is coming, and small is existing and beautiful is existing. So we can calculate the distance and no need to make a deep learning. This is a world of the semantic computing. Okay, so currently everyone says the big data is important, but I don't think so. Sometimes if you have the good definition, so like a long man, you can define the campus, university campus, like a, you can make a good definition. You can manipulate the, any, any semantics without big data. Okay, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Next question is that, uh, how, where this system provided? So the person can like a try or demo from the website or something? Uh, yes, yes, uh, as uh, I introduced, Summer school is a, a good good opportunity, and let's share later about uh, this information. And uh, important information I can show you. Just a moment. This is a, a summer school lecture note of the 5D. And this is a site of the 5D. Okay, I can access. Can I share?
Can I see? And this is a 5D system shared in summer school. So please uh, make a, a arrangement later with you. So if you are interested in to join the, this kind, this le lecture series. This is a login. So this is the interface of the FAD. Can you see? Okay. And for example, this is a very simple question, Thailand. We have the many data from Thailand, like this. And like this, many data. And sometimes you are related to wildfire, Thailand, only one. Like this, and you can find out. So wildfire situation about Australia. This is a system interface, and this is a upload data. Uploading, okay. You access some file related to image. For example, what's a good, good way? Today's This is today's lecture note, <laughs> lecture, intro, uh, introduction, and category, maybe, sorry, but uh, what's a good way, culture, for example. H. It's likely to be the education, right? Education, okay. On the right education. hand side, yeah. Okay, education is uh, your category. Education and location can be mapped on the by using the like this and to get and to get address main central central address and date maybe today now okay like this and you can. Input this P, PS, PSU like this. So you can make uploading. Okay. And then you can find. Okay. Like this. It's nice if you like. Okay, like this, you can make a protein. Local and global data can be shared. And uploading is like this. And image retrieval also available. Image, not, not, not working today, but uh, image retrieval with a uh, color space also available. And many data analysis. Okay. Next, next time, let's let's share this system all together. But we can share this system with you. Okay. Okay. Because of uh, your demo right now, let everyone have like clearly pictures. For example, so I got the information from a student that they are doing like a tourism activities. And maybe mm -hmm. they can like a map to find that where uh, which beaches uh, that uh, people can do the di diving or mm -hmm. can do the surfing, mm -hmm. especially in Phuket area. And yeah, then they have another project. It's like a 
they want to uh, propose like a local community products because mm. there are so many products available, but it's very rare to find from the online world because mm. the local people have limitation using the technology and internet. Mm. So then if we can uh, propose or push those kind of information to the 5D world map, so then we have another dimension, I mean, another concept, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way, I think. Okay. Mm. Let's make uh, we have one question from the participant right now. They say that is it possible to have the slide? I think I gave it already, right? Yes, I uh, I already sent to you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I already uploaded it already. So let me post it one yes. more time, okay? You you everyone. can share you can share my slide. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everyone, I just post again for the ones who just come here. These are our material that we learned each other today. So mm -hmm. the slide my, my how about how about the manuscript that you, you sent to me? Like a manuscript and uh, the paper or something, right? Yes, I I have sent you two papers. Two papers? Uh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, two papers. Mm, yes, can, please, can, yeah. can you introduce those, uh, work, those work to our participants right now? About the papers? Yes, yes, yes. We have like... Um, you send like a asymmetric associative computation method. Yes. Mm. And another one called um, a global environment analysis and visualization. Mm. Yes. Can you introduce okay. this to manuscript to our participant right now? Okay. That's good. Okay, so while we are waiting for you to uh, briefly about the manuscript, we have one more question. Uh, mm -hmm. So then, is it possible to share our data on 5D world map, or should we have another class for workshop? Uh, yes, yes, my pleasure. Great. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is an uh, important progress. Okay. So you, let's uh, please arrange the opportunity for us, and let's make good sharing and collaboration starting Okay, thanks so much. My, my great pleasure. Okay. So do you need my introduction about my papers? Yeah, your papers, your two papers that we have yeah, sure. right now got it ready. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fast paper. Can you see? Yes, I can. Okay. So this is the paper discussing about uh, semantic computing. All right. So semantic associative computation method and can say, can I see? And this is an example of the, how to make a matrix today, I discussed. So this is a natural language dictionary, but uh, we have to make matrix to make a calculation distance. So this is a process, how to make a matrix, all right? So I introduced about the language and colors today, and also water quality. How to make a matrix? This is a discussion first, semantic associative search method, MMM, is introduced. And next importance is that today, I introduced how to select the dimensions, okay? In the case of the green, green interpretation of the green totally depend dependent on the context and totally dependent on the cultures. Maybe Thailand green and Japanese green might be different in impression. 
but uh, this is uh, how to support the difference, interpretation, different way. And this is a basic mathematics. If you are, in, if some you are student interested in mathematics, how to make a orthogonal space? Orthogonality is important to make a calculation. All right. Original matrix sometimes not orthogonal like this. So this is a definition by the author of the Longman Dictionary. Okay. They say the beautiful and ability and degree, those are existing to express the English word. But uh, they don't say this is their orthogonal. Orthogonal means a crossing, crossing orthogonal. This is important to make a calculation of the distance. Okay. And so if you don't have the, if you don't, if you'd like to apply the orthogonality in mathematics, so this kind of the eigenvalue decomposition, this is a linear algebra. Uh, this is mathematics can be applied to make an eigenvalue decomposition. This is a, one of the choice, choices to make orthogonality, but uh, it's okay, I think, the conceptually orthogonal if you can define. So this is an important discussion today. So I, I hope I'd like to share. So this Longman dictionary says they, they are conceptually orthogonal. Conceptually orthogonal. But uh, in the case of the matrix, some matrix, they don't say orthogonal, orthogonality is supported. So we have to apply the orthogonal Dimensional crea dimension creation. This is a process of the eigenvalue decomposition. This is a mathematics. If we, if we are interested in this mathematics, please follow this description. And this is a total procedure. And next is uh, how to map the world of the image, world of the music. So this is a discussion. And this is a world of the music. So when you are listening to the music, you'd like to also access the Im Im images according to the impressions. So this is a system. So color space, image space, and music space, both are provided independent, and those are integrated. So like a human brain, we have the different memories for music and the images. Do you agree? Okay, so different memories, but we can sometimes integrate them. So sometimes listen to the listen to the music, and we imagine the scene, view, or uh, landscape like this. So this is a trial to make an integration between image and music. It's very interesting, and so color world. As I explained today, color space is created for images and music space also created and the music and image. And this is a, a video analysis in colors, like an animation, anime. Japanese animation can be, can be expressed by impressions along the timeline. What's the changing of the impression of the anim animation? This is a research result about the semantic computing. Okay. And another paper is related to five D world map. This is a, a paper related to 5D. So global environmental analysis and visualization for multi-dimensional world map. And this is a SPA architecture, okay? 5D, essential 5D. Many dimensions, 
uh, included, but uh, dimensional control is important to realize SPA. And this is a process, how to make a semantic space. And this is a architecture of the 5D. And this is a case of the image retrieval in forest fire. And this is a today's slide. Okay. And this is a summary of the environmental analysis with a multispectral camera. Multispectral camera is important. And this is a case of the spectral. Three, six dimensional spe spectral image space is created with a multispectral. And we can realize the semantic computing for multispectral. This is a hybrid paper. And please ask any question, feel free to ask me about the discussion in, this, in these papers. Okay. okay. Thanks so much. I have two more questions from the audience. Yes, all right. Okay, the first one said that besides JRE, could we use this cross culture knowledge in other businesses? Can you uh, show us some more examples in the real application? Uh, about what is uh, SPA? They said that JR is, I mean, real station, railway station. Ah, could, could, we, could we use this cross culture knowledge in other business domains? Ah, yes, yes. Uh, that's uh, interesting. Uh, because uh, many tourists are coming from Thailand to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how to support? The tourists from Thailand to, in Tokyo. This is an important discussion. And then cross cultural com computing in the to Tokyo Cyber Station must be supported. So we are discussing about that point. So language difference, language manipulation, not only language, but uh, as I told, uh, some relaxation or some silent place, taking a rest, uh, some so those simple keywords must be supported. So this is a good good point. Today, I could share with you. So my idea is uh, not support every, no need to support the natural language. This is my sense. Okay. Dimensional world, for example. Sorry, uh, as I explained, okay, JR application. Okay, sorry in Japanese, but uh, I introduced, this is a uh, interface of the JR, JR, JR Cyber. And this is a Japanese language, but only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 12 impression words are supported. Sorry, in Japanese. And so this is sometimes enough to spend a good time in Tokyo, okay, Tokyo station. That's why we don't need to support the language translation, language interpreter. So Thailand, Thai people can utilize the 12 Thailand keyword and you can access the recommended place like this. So this is our idea. So we focus on only 12 important key impression work for foreign tourists. 
about the impression. And this is a service only in this case also about uh, 10 to 15 service can be provided to the foreigners. This is a cross-cultural supporting. No need to support the natural language interpretation. Very simple. Yes. This, is a, this means a 15, almost 12 dimensional space can be supported for foreigners. Okay. Thanks mm. so much. I will mm. still have more questions. Yes. Okay, the, another one. Um, as uh, the person work mainly on the remote sensing image classification, mm. and one of uh, his main problem is the limited number of training data sets due to the cost. Could the uh, 5B world map system be helpful in this development of training sets? Train, training process about training, the training set. Training right. data set about the machine learning. Mm -hmm. You mean machine learning. So your question is about uh, machine learning function like a uh, plastic garbage in, the, in this point. So let me repost the question. Uh, this one that I got from the participant, it said that as uh, I work mainly on the remote sensing image classification and one of our main problem is the limited number of training data sets due to the cost. Uh, okay. And then mm. cost uh, okay. I understand. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay, remote sensing. Yeah? So I really uh, recommend you to apply the semantic computing. That's as a big data. So this is a case of the big data. To, in the case of the machine learning, you, have, you need big data, but the remote sensing, if, if, what kind of the remote sensing you are planning? For example, the deforestation or a forest fire, dependent on the remote sensing. But if you can define the color histogram, for example, color histogram can be defined for the remote sensing, you can apply the semantic computing. All right. So this is a, this is a deep question. For example, this is not the remote sensing, but uh, sometimes this is the parameters of the remote sensing depend on the frequency. We have frequency dependent, so Fourier expansion and remote sensing image data can be expressed like this. And this can be expressed in the forest fire or land sliding, if you can define. So you can utilize the semantic computing rather than machine learning. But I'm not sure you can define the forest fire by hold images of the remote sensing. This is a point. So my recommendation is that you can, you can pick up the typical, typical plastic garbage data. Okay, for example, semantic computing like this. So this is a plastic compute, plastic garbage. This is not a plastic garbage. And you, you can utilize this typical plastic garbage, okay? you can make a vector from this image. No utilize. You don't need other images. Only one sample can be expressed in the vector with a remote sensing, okay? All right, multispectral. And this is another case of the remote sensing, but no, no garbage. And you can have the non-plastic vector and the plastic vector, okay? Only two vectors, not a pong sensor like this. Only two, this is a typical plastic. This is a typical non-plastic. Only two vectors can be prepared, okay? And so new data is coming and you can compare, compare to the plastic or non-plastic. And which is close, similar, calculation by the distance, like a green, green, Gold and green fresh, same same thing. 
which is uh, closer. And so you can interpret this is a plastic or this is non-plastic. This is a semantic computing. If you can give the definition of the plastic, you don't need big data. So remote, same, same in the case of the remote sensing. You can define this is a deforest, this is a forest. And so new data is coming and you can compare deforest and forest and you can make an interpretation. Same as a cat and dog. Natapong says cat, cat and dog, we don't need one, one 10,000 dog, 10,000 cat, cat, cat images. Only five times that's enough to distinguish cat and dog because we define, we can have, we can have the definition of the dog and the cats by watching the dog and the cats five times. This is a human child. Okay. So I think the, uh, the question from the second, this one, uh, your answer is quite useful because sometimes we don't need like a, a lot of data, it's just only the no. simple one. Yes, this is a semantic computing. Small data, AI starts. This is my concept. Small data, AI can start. So everyone, as we can see, small data, AI can start. Yes, so that's what this, we is my, this is my message today. Okay, <laughs> and then we have another one. According to the Longman basic words mm. that you use in your examples, is it possible for us to use our Thai dictionary, I mean, in Thai language, as the input data to your 5D world map? Oh, that's a, that's a great, great project. So please make a Thai, Thai language project with a semantic computing. This is a highly recommended. And I'm not sure uh, Thai, Thai dictionary has a limited, limited number of the def definition words. Longman is a, one of the good examples. Only 2,115 words are utilized, but I'm not sure in Thai, Thai dictionary you have such kind of the dictionary in your country. But if you can define the limited dimensional dictionary, so this is a, like a, you can apply semantic computing. Mm. But uh, in the case of the JR, only 12 words are supported. That's uh, much, much, much easier. So to support the railway, railway passengers, we don't need long man. <laughs> this is my message. In the railway environment, this is a domain specific, totally domain specific. If you focus on some small domain, you don't need to make a diction big dictionary. You can make a small dictionary. I really recommend in the uh, computer science scientist, so you are interested in computer science and then computer science. So how many small dimensional space will be effective? This is uh, important. Like uh, chemistry. So only 116 uh, atoms are available in chemistry, world of the material. Like uh, chemistry or physics. So this is a great dictionary of the CO2, H2O, everything can be expressed by using 100, 160 atoms. So this is a definition of the atoms. This is a semantic computing. So in the Thai language, how many atoms must be supported? That's a dependent on the domain application. So in your application, you can define, you can make your own dictionary. It's a limited dimensions. This is my recommendation. Because right now, actually, in Thailand, we have like a official and prescriptive dictionary for our Thai language, oh, uh, published is. by the Royal Society of Thailand. Oh, That's right. one thing. So you can you can make semantic space by uh -huh. Royal Dictionary. Okay. That's uh, one a more. nice project. One more question. Sure. How do you handle if there are some new words occur nowadays into the system, five world DMAP system? 
a part of me that is high. Ah, uh, I say that. How do you handle if there are some new words occur? Yeah. New word, new words occur in the world and then enter or input to your five G world map system. Hmm. New new what you mean? New vocabularies, for example. New A new vocabulary. Mm. I see. About the system naming, naming the system. Hmm. You mean the, what's a good naming for the system? Ah, uh, just like uh, for example, you say that we have a limited word. For example, from the long man dictionary, right? Mm. And then one day we have like a new, new, new vocabulary and unknown word out of vocabulary. Mm. How can we uh, uh, generate uh, or make that uh, metric to that system? Mm, that's a good way. So, for example, so you have the example. Example can make a vector. So, how to make a vector? This is uh, important. New terminology is coming. And how to make a vector with uh, 2150? Two, this is a point. Okay. And so, sometimes, so this vocabulary, how to define the, this vocabulary? Someone should make a vector by yourself, or sometimes uh, we can utilize uh, some samples, examples about the new vocabulary, and we can manipulate, apply some text processing, text mining, and what's a related keyword in new terminology. And so, if you can make a vector, and then you can put the new terminology onto the 2000 semantic space. So this is not a good answer, but uh, terminology can be utilized in the society and you can pick up the examples. And so you try to make a, how to make a dictionary, dimensional, dimensional vector. This is a good, important programming. So I really, this is a phase of the programming to make a new vector. Okay. okay. I think we have time to only one last question for sure. today. Sure. So the participant uh, asked that the Royal Institute Dictionary consists of more than like uh, 33,000 words, include, <laughs> including the ancient words. Mm. Uh, can you uh, suggest us to define the basic words? Mm. So I really recommend to, if you'd like to put your royal, uh, royal dictionary onto the semantic world, semantic computing world. So you have to make a matrix, as I told today. So to make a matrix, you need to define the atoms, atoms. Atoms are essential, like a, uh, like a, uh, Long man. So if you can define the Thai, Lang, Thai words with the basic Thai words, you can define. And by using the basic, only basic words, you can define as a as a Thai word, you can make a matrix. And so this is a limited dimensional domain. This is a important to apply the semantic computing. Mm, that's a good question, and please make the new dictionary for Thai, your language, your dictionary, your language. That's a very promising, I think. So I think uh, if you guys have more questions, you can uh, contact us by sending uh, the message or sending the email to uh, Kiyoki Sensei, or even send to me from the PSQ, and even the email, so we can. Uh, uh, arrange for the answer to the question that you have. So anyway, so today the topic like AI and semantic computing with 5D world map system uh, lectures and uh, practice provided by our professor Jashushi Kiyogi, right, from Musashino University, Japan. I think you have great guest uh, experience together from the online workshop like this. Anyway, yes. thank you so much. Uh, Kiyoki Sensei, that to you. provide you. your time and then share your experience with us today. So on behalf of Queen of Sunkan University and the College of Computing, we'd like to thank you everyone, including professors that uh, joined this special event for us. Anyways, take care and then see you again 
uh, in another topics. So Thank that's you. all for now. Bye bye, everyone. Okay, arigato. Thank you so much. Arigato. So, kopun kap. Kopun kap. Bye bye, kap. Bye bye bye. Today, our world is, is changing faster than ever. Digital transformation, transformation, digital transformation, the of success, the of the revolution, the revolution. Technology, technology, agriculture, social, culture, social, human culture, behavior, human behavior. Everything will be driven Everything by computer, be driven by and many novel digital, 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 platform. digital platforms. Studying digital Studying engineering, digital international, engineering international program international at College of Computing. Please ask some university university will surely take you a long way to long way being a professional computer engineer who specializes in computer and digital technology, digital technology. Be proficient in proficient in and future with future future skills. Choose to be outstanding. Choose to be outstanding. Choose digital. Choose digital. That will come. That will come. That will come. Is a world-class world tourist destination, tourist destination. Renowned, for its renowned for its beautiful natural, natural, resources, natural and resources and rich culture. And rich it also culture. offers, a, also broad offers range a broad of range of business, business, business prospects. Founded in 1977, Prince, Prince of Songkla University, Songkla University PSU, PSU, Phuket Campus, Phuket is, campus one of is one of five PSU's campuses, five campuses located, strategically located within the Andaman region, Andaman strives region. to meet the needs of the local needs community of local and assist in the growth of the region. Of the region. PSU, Phuket, Phuket Campus, Phuket is, campus working is working becoming towards becoming a truly international, international campus. PSU, Phuket, Phuket Campus, Phuket is the campus educational, is hub, of the hub, hub of the foreign region. Language foreign language teaching and learning, and learning is an area we specialize in. Our strength Our includes strength the teaching of English, English Chinese, and, Chinese and, other and other foreign languages. PSU, Phuket, is second to none in information none in technology and communications courses. PSU, Phuket, is a among the, the best in hospitality, best and, hospitality and tourism and education. Tourism and education. Our, campus Our campus features diverse features natural resources, natural and, resources opportunities and opportunities to apply environmental, to apply environmental management, skills. management skills. PSU, PSU, PSU campus, campus presently, presently comprises, of three, comprises of, three faculty, of three faculty, one department, one department and one college. college. One undergraduate, undergraduate degrees currently offered include offered Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science Faculty of Technology and Environment, Environmental Management, Information technology. technology. Bachelor of Business Bachelor of Administration. Administration. Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism. And tourism. Hospitality, management. Hospitality management. Tourism management. Tourism management. Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Faculty Arts, of International Studies, International, International, Studies, International Business, Business, China, Thai China, Study, Thai Chinese Studies, Studies Chinese International Studies, Studies, International Studies, Korea. Studies Korea. Bachelor of Engineering, Bachelor of Engineering, Department of Computer, Department of Computer Engineering, Engineering, Computer Engineering, Computer Engineering. We also offer we also short courses offer short and training workshops in training workshops. Phuket, Phuket Community College. Community our postgraduate post programs are programs Master of Business Master Administration, MBA in Hospitality and Tourism Management, Master of Science, Technology and Environmental Management. PSU students are expected to develop social consciousness and pride as members of the PSU community, to improve Thai life skills, morals, and ethics, and to embrace overall their roles as children of the father, the Prince of Songkla, founder of PSU. Prince of Songkla University, Phuket Campus, aims to provide assistance and meet needs locally and regionally while producing qualified graduates. <laughs>